This is Twit. Everybody knows you as the Eagles and the and the guitar virtuoso that you are and and uh, and everything else. But we want to talk about ham radio tonight. So first thing we want to know is what got you interested in in this hobby and this service. What was it that got you into ham radio? Well, in about 1959, my family moved from uh, Columbus, Ohio, to New York City. And it was during the summer. So I went, and I was, what, 11, something like that. And so I went from uh, vacant lots and uh, kick the can games out in the in our, you know, in our city streets and, and vacant, vacant lots and big fields and houses with backyards, uh, to a, uh, third floor apartment in New York city. And it was summer and I had no friends cause school wasn't in yet. And, uh, I was pretty much lost. Uh, felt like I was on a different planet. And so I spent a uh, good part of that summer by myself, uh, board stiff, scared to go anywhere because it was it was the biggest thing I'd ever seen, the biggest city I'd ever been in. And uh, I noticed that there was this big thing on the roof bigger than any television <laughs> antenna I had ever seen. <laughs> and I noticed that every time I looked up at it, it was pointing in a different direction. <laughs> so after a while, uh, I followed the wires down to a window and uh, traced that to a door and knocked on the door. And it was... Uh, K2IEY. His name was Jim, and he was a ham. And uh, he invited me in and sat me down in his uh, little shack. And he had a KWM1 transceiver, and he talked to the world on it. And I was amazed. Uh, completely amazed. And that was my first real friend in New York. And uh, so Jim kind of saved me uh, that summer and became a lifelong friend. And I lost track of him a long time later and didn't have any idea where he was for like 20 years. And uh uh, one day I found him on the internet, but he taught me ham radio. He gave me my novice exam and, uh, is the reason I'm a ham and it's life changing. Uh, we, we all know what ham radio does to a kid and it was life changing for me and, uh, everything that I learned, uh, those days when I was 12, uh, I have been able to use in my career, which is uh, fixing stuff when it blows up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've made friends all over the world that I never would have met any other way than ham radio. But that's that was my first experience uh, with ham radio. And that was uh, in 19, 1960 when I got my novice. 